So jumping into the car by create portion of the build, just setting up the stock size here as 31 inches long and the height is 12 and 1 16th, so 0 0.0625 in the decimal form. We're gonna click OK. Once we have our design here imported, we're going to go ahead and select it, make sure everything is selected, and we're gonna come over here to the transform and then we're gonna scale this. And we can just grab this bottom right hand corner um, square and let's go ahead and drag it out to a size that we like. That seems good. And we're gonna go over here now to this uh, align of vectors and we're gonna align it center. And I think that looks actually pretty good already from the get-go, so we're gonna keep it like that. So now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and start creating our tool paths. So let's just go ahead and click on the, on the vector or anywhere here, and this is already grouped, so let's ungroup everything. Let's click off of it. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna start clicking on these stripes because that's gonna be a single tool path. Let's group that. Let's see if these stars, so the stars are not grouped, so let's go ahead and click and drag. Let's create an area there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and group that. And now let's just come in here and select the text. Perfect. And so that looks like it's already grouped. Let me just check. Yeah, so I moved a little bit, but I'm gonna hold uh, Command Z to undo that. So now, every, so my three uh, groups are created now. So now that I got the three groups created, let's go ahead and start creating our toolpaths. Let's start with the stripes first. We're gonna click on the stripes, select toolpath. And in this case, I want an advanced V-carve. I'm gonna pocket this area, the stripes first with a 201 quarter inch end mill. So let's go ahead and select that. And we're gonna go pretty fast, so 80, 90. 18,000 RPM, and then we're gonna go ahead and make those corners sharp by using a 90 degree V bit. Again, we're gonna go pretty fast, 80, 90. My max depth is 0 0.020. Perfect, 12 minutes to do that. So now with the stripes completed, let's go ahead and do the stars and the text together because the stars and the text is a simple V carve. So although they are grouped separately, we can just uh, click on the stars and then hold shift and click on the text. And now we have both groups selected and we can co uh, come, We can now come back over to the tool path, select V-carve. Let's change our tool to the 60 degree V-bit. Let's go 80, 90, 18,000 RPM. I'm going to use stock bottom for my V-carve and I'll let the system calculate and determine how deep the V-bit needs to go to be able to get a good carve. That's 13 minutes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the simulation before we send it off. All right, so the simulation looks really good. I don't wanna to go too deep on the stripes. I just wanna take the top layer off of the stain, giving it a nice clean look, and it's not gonna look gouged out, and it's gonna look really nice. So let's go ahead and save that G-code. All right, so now with the toolpath set up, let's go ahead and send it over to the machine.